I'm Kim Shepard. I'm from Pompton Plains, New Jersey. So I've, I've grown up in New Jersey and uh, I came to Princeton via Stevens Institute of Technology, which is where I did my undergraduate degree. Uh, so I've, I've gone to school in New Jersey, born, raised, and college educated. My thesis is on the physics of polymer glasses. So studying materials that don't have a crystal structure. In general, we refer to those as amorphous materials or glassy materials. And in a nutshell, what I'm trying to do is get a better understanding of how these materials behave. When I'm actually doing my work in the lab, I'm using a system called MAPLE, and that's not about syrup. It's an acronym for Matrix Assisted Pulse Laser Evaporation. I'm using a laser beam to deposit a thin film of a polymer material. So what I do every day is I make films by this maple process and then I analyze their properties using a variety of different techniques from microscopy, kind of nanoscale imaging to studying the properties of what happens as you change their temperature, stuff like that. The reason I came to Princeton, other than um, having wanted to come here ever since I was a really little kid, really was because of the people that I met here. I was very lucky to, uh, to recruit Kimberly into my laboratory. One of the reasons I was, I'm happy that she's in my lab because she is independent in terms of uh, undertaking research and I think um, as a young faculty member having someone who's independent in the lab is extremely important. And one of the, the things Kim had to do was basically get uh, a grasp around or knowledge around being able to utilize laser based uh, deposition approaches to grow polymer films. And she was not going to get that knowledge from me, she was going to get that knowledge from the, uh, from the Orno lab. And, and one of the things I was excited to see Kim do over the course of her uh, time here was really embrace the idea of kind of becoming a laser person as well as becoming a, a polymer physicist as well. And I think she really illustrated uh, that growth um, in her fourth year here when she actually built a second uh, maple chamber for characterization. Kim's fantastic to have Kim around. She's, she's a bundle of energy. She's very enthusiastic about the work that she does. And that's something that I like to emphasize in my group. Uh, science is supposed to be fun. You should enjoy what you do. But it's also a lot of hard work. And Kim understands the balance. She understands that you can be enthusiastic and really love the work that you're doing and work really hard at it. And I think that that, that attitude tends to permeate through the entire group. And so it's such a pleasure to see her interacting with the younger students, uh, see her kind of getting them worked up about the research that they're doing and excited about the research that they're doing.